Hello everyone, it is Kaylin, and welcome back to another episode of my Dang and Rampa playthrough. We are smack dab in the middle of the sixth and what is presumably the last trial, but I guess we will find out. I don't know, I don't trust this game, and I don't trust uh, anything it tells me, so who knows if this is actually the last uh, trial we'll have to go through. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. We are currently discussing, um, I guess the bio lab? Let's see. Let's continue on. Mukro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. The bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. Yeah. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. Yeah. The proof that shows the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden. There's something that made its way from the bio lab to the garden. It's the tarp. Yay. I got it. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in when I was checking Oops. it over again. I, I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says I'm getting bio impatient lab. with my clicking. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Is it actually that tiny? I, I guess it's hard to tell the scale from the photo that it shows. Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. I don't know how none of us noticed There's that. There's a whole the first stack time. of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the coat on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. Yo, how how did this person not just bring the Biolab tarp back out of there. That's just a wild guess. Ooh, Monokuma seems a little stressed. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? I would say so. Worked up? <laughs> now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency, one so major it can't be overlooked. It's a number of lights. An inconsistency in the bio lab? Could you be talking about? Yeah, la, la. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that All one right, thing? Makoto, or Monokuma, you need to chill. What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. No, don't listen to him. This is a distraction. What? <laughs> don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure Don't listen to him. Why does this okay? doesn't matter at all? This doesn't. This literally doesn't change anything. <laughs> Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that. Calm down, Lakota. He wants you to get upset. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. Yeah, you do. This is ridiculous. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously. This doesn't change anything. So, if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be 
the lights. That one area where the numbers just don't match up. The lights. The moment of truth. Oh, okay. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Oh my gosh, I'm in the zone. Are you sure about this? <laughs> oh no. What do you want? We're go fever. Are you sure about this? Bro, bro, bro. Okay. Wait. I'm not listening. Okay. Oh wait, shit, shit, shit. No! <laughs> Are you sure about this? That's impossible! No! No! Do I have it up? Okay, okay, I I'm still have it. Listening. This should prove it. For a second, I thought he was like just being stubborn and like wasn't gonna accept my answer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, when those are going, I like can do anything except just pay attention and do them. Okay. <sighs> what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. Yeah. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Biakia. Did he but go I up there? I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give okay, me the hero. Do the math. Here, Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights that should be on is ten. I got it. There's only six of ten us, of dummy. The should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. I did not mean to click through that text again. I'm just a little impatient. Okay. I'm, I'm real hype in the tr on the trial. I just want to get through it. Sayaka died first. Junko was second. Leon was third. I tried to do this last night and I did not do a good job. I mean, I guess I recorded last night. Last episode. Hmm? Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. Then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura was ninth. Okay, so I did actually. I, I said everybody's names last night. I think I just didn't count right. <laughs> and Victor num victim number ten was Mukuro. Hmm. hmm so. Um, I try not to voice act when they voice act, even though it's quieter than my own voice. But you know. That's right. It happened. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. Yeah. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappear? No. I got it. The masterminds destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. No. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? No one. It may very well be that none of them disappeared. Yeah. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Because the second one wasn't a real death. Including Monokuma's Sorry, execution. Sorry, the second have apparently time ten deaths, Junko's body died. there were died. only nine bodies. 
That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? Well, you see, someone died twice. The reason there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than murders? Murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for that to make sense? Bam! <laughs> what about if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered. And then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? Yeah, I can. It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone See, else. okay, this is the only part that I don't understand, and that's- I, I do not understand why Mukuro was in Junko's clothes and outfit and personality at the beginning. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? Easy. The only person who wasn't killed by another student. All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious! Because Kyoko's totally delusional! Hey, shush, you're not allowed to talk anymore. Monokuma is out of the arguments. <laughs> is that okay? We got Monokuma in file number five. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? No. Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Oh, fuck you. Come on, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, my health is really low. Shit. Who is this someone? Okay. Is it Sayaka, I got it this time. Junko and Oshima? What? Was it not? You wound me, Makoto. Or, sorry, that's not. Whatever. You interrupted me while I was talking. One point deduction. Well, shit. Do I need to? Oh, shit. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I do. I refuse to give up yet. I didn't realize my health was so low. What did I even lose health on? Do I have to copy something here? I'm like positive it was Junko. Who so I guess I don't understand. Maybe I have to Who copy someone. Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mando Owada? I, okay, I, I guess I will wait to see everything that was said. Celestia Lu, whatever. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Maybe I have to copy the murdered twice? That's the only thing that I can think of. Mukuro died from the wounds she had all over her body. Wasn't there someone else who suffered the same sort of injury? Yeah, but I got in trouble when I clicked on her name, so maybe... Yeah, maybe. I'll try copying the murdered twice, I guess. Oh, did that not... Oh my gosh. 
I didn't know if you would have to get rid of a like the whisper to copy, but but I guess you do. Or maybe no no no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Okay, let's try this. Okay, okay, okay. Who is the someone else that was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko and Oshima? Okay. No, that's wrong. <sighs> I'm stressed Junko. out. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, remember what happened to her? I do. She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. She was. <laughs> and Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. Yep. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Can the similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. I called that so early, I'm pretty happy about that. So let me see <laughs> if I have this I'm, I'm, I'm gonna feel big brain about it, whether it is or not. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Mm -hmm. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. And it's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... What does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Yeah. <laughs> Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is I feel like all alive. I can do is agree right now because this and is all stuff that I'm like actually pretty alive? sure of. I still don't understand why. Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. See, that's what I thought. She took Junko's body and made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. A little silence. I'm okay, so that right. was my first thought. Right, I just don't- I still don't understand the measurements thing. The one that's still alive is Mukuro. But... Can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive. See, this is- yeah, this is the one thing I'm unsure of. I was so positive that Mukuro was still alive. Until they brought up the measurements and until kyoko said that she the was sure that it was her body it wasn't Mukuro. Oops. then she's still alive that's right she made it look like junko's body was her so the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. okay so do you give up we have the file the injury and the profile <laughs> the hmm? Was the hmm something I could shoot? Is that really possible? Damn, I shouldn't have had auto on there. I was thinking. I'm gonna go through this again. Okay, wait. Profile, injury, file. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's I, th I think I want the profile. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I, yeah. I think I wanna. I. I think I'm gonna try and shoot Toko's second statement. For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? 
Would that be true? Found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. Okay. No, that's wrong. No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent Did we with check records. Junko's measurements though? Right, Kyoko? She was five foot six inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. See, so this, no yeah, this is the turn. one where I'm not necessarily, I, I'm just not sure. But if Mukuro is not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? I mean, Junko. <laughs> Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. All right. Here's my answer. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? No, I'm not, but that's what the game seems to want to make me choose, so. Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. But we saw her get impaled. She died right okay. before our very eyes. Yeah, I, I, I need the explanation for alive. why she was in saw would have to have her been outfit. Some kind of charade. No, it's this was Mukuro in Junko's clothing. Now, just explain to me why. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it, I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Well, yeah, we just confirmed that she died twice, so obviously she died here. I did check, absolutely, and I can say for sure. She was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. Why are we even discussing this? We already know that it was Mukuro at this point. Because she died. We already confirmed that she died. Why are we discussing this? So, the idea that she's still alive. Is everyone done? What's happening here? It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but what? too bad. I, guess I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> too bad, too bad. This case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? No. Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind I, of- I, I honestly story. don't understand why we're discussing this when we already confirmed that Mukuro's body that we found in the greenhouse died several days before. So by that logic, it was obviously Mukuro in Junko's clothing when she got impaled. Why is this? Okay. I think we need to look at it's this fine. from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? I checked her. She was dead. I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? Oh my god, I'm <laughs> gonna lose it. It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely? Maybe she used some sort of trick.
Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I'm actually not sure what this word is supposed to be. Re replace? Is it just replaced? I, I guess I'm gonna try that. Yeah, okay. She switched places with someone else. Switched places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. This sounds wild. <laughs> Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. <laughs> yeah. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When oh my god, from the very beginning! <laughs> when she was uh, about to die like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique good point there's just no way they could have switched like that so maybe the whole idea is wrong there has to be some way i need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched i got it two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. I, I just wish i what if uh Oh my gosh! Did Kyoko not say to us that there were two despairs? So were they just working together? What? From the beginning? Maybe Mukuro didn't expect yes, to die. From the moment we first met. If that's when they switch. then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met... Okay, this was the only thing that I hadn't really thought about. I, I actually thought that Junko and Mukuro were dead and then it was just like a, a different... Or that, or that just Junko was dead. My bad, not Junko and Mukuro. Actually, Mukuro all along? Sure looks like it. Then we'd already met her? I had, like, a normal conversation with her. We sure all did. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her head, Okay, right? so, yeah, I was right when I replaced it. She was obviously wearing makeup on it that got blown off in the blast. Or by the water. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did... It likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. Yep. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. Hmm. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Yeah. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? 
If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Well, I, I guess I now I don't understand why Mukuro would have been in on it. The reason such an Unless she planned to die. Is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back. I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean? Afraid. Fear oh no, is what's gonna happen now? Where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity. The photos. When did I? I was do just thinking that? about those. So he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Is it group photo or? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was just the group photo. Yeah. Oh, is that not right? Okay. It has to do with what Monokuma tried to keep me from seeing during the investigation. Wait, what did he try and keep us from seeing? Oh, shit. Looks like I just embarrassed myself in front of everyone. He tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. actually sure what it's asking about right now. I thought it was the group photo because her face is hidden. But now I'm actually not. This is the first time I feel like I've been stumped on evidence to bring up. How did he hide Junko's identity? None of these make sense to me. Oh my gosh. Why I actually have no idea. I don't want to just pick something either, but like <laughs> what I don't know what my other option is. I was positive it was the group photo hiding her face. What was the other way he tried to hide her identity? Like, none of these are even... Genocide Jack's memory... Let's try. I actually don't know. No. I didn't think so. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm so lost with what it's asking for me right now. Fuck! I don't want to fail right here, but I, I am honestly just not sure. That's not it. Mm. I, none of these make sense to me, unless it's this. No, I, I actually have no idea right now. What is it? in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster.
It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Wh what the heck just happened? Oopsie, looks like it broke out of service. What? It just so happened to break just now? Now, then, when, doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But that whole power outage thing was just a fluke! No, it wasn't a fluke. The Mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The Mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I've got to reveal that. Okay, the photos that I thought was right the first time. <laughs> oh shit, okay. I still had fear up. I was worried about the thing. Is it the okay? That's impossible. This should prove it. Okay. Whew. Switch to the right one that time. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. With every group photo. Uh. Uh oh. I noticed it just a little while ago. When we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten, in all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. <laughs> What's so unusual about them? Yeah. The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures. I find it weird that they keep calling them pictures and not photos. The unusual circumstance is Junko's face. I got it. Junko's face. Yeah. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. <laughs> Thank you for showing us all of them again. Believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So, in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! <laughs> I believe everything Makoto said is true. Yeah, me too. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. She's the true mastermind. 
and the ultimate despair. Yeah, two times two! With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no wait, uh, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. Yeah, we win. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. Get fucked. <laughs> I'll prove everything right now. Clo Whoa. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, I didn't realize we were going into the comic. Okay. Look, there's all of us. Look at all of us. There's Junko. Oh, this is so long. I'll, I'll go with that one. That seems like the most logical right now. She attacks the bear. She gets speared. But it's actually Junko. Or it's actually Mukuro dying. Act 3. There they are. They take the body out. Carry it. Cover her. Or uncover her, I guess. Put on a mask. Go to attack me? Please, no. Um. Hmm. Maybe? I'm not- I'm not actually not sure here. Oh, that might be more like... Uh, I'm not- let's just keep going for a sec. Sure, maybe there. Or maybe I feel like maybe those need to be switched. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause they get the knife out of my bedside table, so maybe that's right. Okay, and then da 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 da, -da keep going, mask off, and put it on. Maybe? Huh, that one didn't even get used. Maybe it needed to? No. Okay, okay. I think we're good. For now. We'll see. I don't know how accurate this is. And then... Is that... It looks like that's when we're... I'm not sure... Oh, okay. This must be when we all found the body and then she's gonna take it off. And then the bomb goes off. Okay. Okay, I think I have this somewhat accurate. Let's the try. Is you. It's me. I'm the killer. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. Okay. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Yup, yup, yup. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue. Until Junko decided to put her body to use. <laughs> Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. 
She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proven to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Which I did. I did think that. So she put nice. on a mask and then attacked me. I'm glad I rearranged some of those. <laughs> After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. Yep. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's Nailed true it. identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. I figured it out, though. This is the truth. It looked just like Junko, so. <laughs> and the or one Mukuro, who carried it all you know out what I mean. The true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. Can't wait to meet Junko for the first time. The real Junko and Oshima! Woo! That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? Come on. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so Is she gonna come try. down in the flesh? Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! I think she is. Maybe? It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Oh, I guess she is still controlling it. <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Nope. I did not. Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Real Junko! Junko, now you look like your photos. We have been waiting! Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. <laughs> what is this voice? <laughs> huh. That is a uh, that is a voice. <laughs> if you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking. Okay, I was gonna say, I, I thought that I had seen cosplayers with, like, the Monokuma, uh, like, doll hair things. And, and maybe also this slightly different outfit, but I don't think I'd ever actually realized that they were different from the one that I saw earlier. So that's, uh, interesting. Okay. Your choice. <laughs> this voice you is killing me. Us? No thanks. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Oh my gosh, Sorry. thank you. I was just messing with you. I like this voice better. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. This is the mastermind? She's... The real Junko Inoshima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? 
What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas <laughs> combined. So like the blase voice. It's I good. feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Wait, what? I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Did I see her in the main hall? I actually don't know here. I got it. That's right. It was before I Oh, came well yeah, school. yeah. I remember seeing we, the her magazines cover. are in the school, like in the laundry room. Why are we Okay. And you were on it. Yes, we literally commented on how she didn't look like her photo on the first day. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main No, oh, okay, is that literally what it's flashing back to? <laughs> yeah. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real? Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. This is deep. Not even if they're twins. Oh, they're twins! Okay. You know what? Let's leave it at that. That's a good place to leave this episode. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I was so close, but not quite. I didn't have everything linked up, but now we do. Well, I guess we'll find out what's going to come next and the rest of the school's mysteries, hopefully, in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. If you're enjoying this series, please comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.